In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create WordPress copyright text that updates dynamically when the year changes. So when 2017 changes to 2018, the year will automatically update in your copyright text and you don't have to ever touch it again, which is pretty awesome. And that's how most WordPress themes are not built. I'm going to show you how to include that functionality and we're getting started right now. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. It's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you're new here and you like WordPress, and you like WordPress tips and tricks and how to make it work even better for you and your clients, then click subscribe because I publish lots of stuff to make your WordPress experience more awesome. Also click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Now click on this card that appeared and register for the Brute Force Eliminator webinar where I show you how to protect my websites and my client websites using three simple tactics that I apply to all my websites to keep Brute Force hackers out for good. After you do that, come back to this tutorial. Let's get started. We're going to replace the year and a bunch of other text actually down here with a script that goes in our functions.php file that will update every year as the new year comes. So you don't have to update the year in your footer any longer. And this example I'm showing you, actually this theme does update every year. So I kind of really don't need it for this theme, but your theme, if you're watching this video, probably doesn't have that function. And where you can find that function is on the blog, link to in the description down below. This page currently has this one functions hack. There's gonna be a lot more on here to come. And by the time this is published, there might already be more on here. I'm not sure yet. But what we're going to do is copy this first code block into our functions file. The second code block is going to go into the footer file of the theme. This would ideally be in a child theme. If you don't have a child theme yet, click on the video that popped up in the card just now to get a child theme. It's a complete walkthrough on how to set it up, so check out that video. If you do have a child theme or you want to do this right in your parent theme, which I don't recommend, but if you want to do that, here we go. Going to double click into this code block, going to copy all of this code onto my clipboard, going to pop into my file manager here, going to go to public underscore HTML, WP content, plugins, not plugins, themes, color snap child is the one I'm working on. I'm going to open the functions file, highlight it, click on edit. I'm going to paste the code I just copied right here. Now the functions file is PHP. If you put a comma or a quote or anything really in the wrong place, your site's gonna go down. And it's gonna stay down until you fix whatever caused the problem. So you wanna be very careful in here. This code that I copied and pasted just now, it should work, but you never know. So I'm gonna save changes first. I'm gonna go back out to the site, refresh it, and if it stays up, everything should be okay. And it reloaded, everything should be okay. If you wanna be extra safe, do a complete backup of your site before you mess around in here, or at the very least, back up your functions.php file. Just duplicate it inside the manager, file manager. Just go to here, right click on it, click on copy. Ask you where to put it. It usually defaults to the current folder, so I'm just gonna copy it to here. Doesn't like that, because it didn't change the file name. Let's try that again, copy. Gonna call it functions old or backup.php. And now we have our backup right here. Now we can more comfortably work in the existing functions file or the, the live functions file. So what this code does is it creates a function called copyright text. It takes two variables or two arguments. One is year one, which is the start year of your company or your website. The second is website name. We're gonna enter those later. Next, we're going to create a variable called year. We're going to assign it the current year. This is the PHP function to get the current year. Then we're going to echo out the copyright symbol and the word copyright. Then we're going to echo out year one, which we're going to set later. And then it's going to check if year one, meaning the year you started the company, does not equal, equals, you know what equals means, and having the exclamation before or a BAM, it's called, that means it does not equal. So if the year your company started does not equal the current year, then we echo out dash year. If the year one does equal the current year, so if you start your company in 2018 
and it's the year 2018, it's not going to show 2018-2018, it's just going to show 2018. I'll show you a live example of that in just a second. And then finally, we're going to echo out the website name variable, and then all rights reserved worldwide. And that's the end of the function. To make this actually appear on your site, we've got to put the second part of the function into the footer, which is right here, this code block. I'm going to copy and paste it into the footer file, which I have right here in my child theme. I'm going to find where the existing footer code is. The footer file is usually not that big. It's usually pretty easy to find the, the copyright function. And it's right here where it says footer copyright. And then it has the actual output of the copyright there. I'm going to click right below it. I'm going to paste my function or my code in there because I want to try to match these up so they look the same. If I save changes, go out and refresh the site. We have our nicely styled copyright here, which is the one we're replacing and then ours, which doesn't look quite the same. So this is our chance to match them up. If we go back into the footer file, what I'm going to do is copy these classes over. I'm going to try to duplicate the wrappers of the content. So here we have paragraph opening and a span opening, and then we start with the copyright. So I'm going to go right to the end of the span opening. And this is going to be different in your theme. So I'm just going to show you what I do in this theme, and hopefully you can do something very similar in yours. And after my code, I'm going to close the span tag and close the paragraph tag. Now click Save Changes. Now I go out and reload again. Now we should look pretty similar. Now the styling is not that extreme. It's really just from black text to white text. But if there were other styling elements involved, those would have been applied to my new footer as well. But we're moved to the right a little. I have a feeling because we're butting up against the end of the initial one or the original one, I think we're shifted to the right because the original one's here. So I'm going to go back to my footer, I'm going to do what we're going to do anyway and delete this, save changes, refresh this page again, and now we have our copyright where we want it to be, but we have to make two updates, got to change the start year if you need to, and the your website name. So if we go back into the footer file, change the start year variable to whatever is appropriate for you, change your website name to your website name, make sure you keep the double quotes on there. And these are the two arguments that are put into the functions file or into the function we put into the functions file. As you remember, we had year one here and website name here in the copyright text function. So if we go back to functions, we have the copyright text function and here are those two variables. So it takes that input right from here. I'm going to save changes, refresh this page again, and now we have what we want. Now there's one last thing I want to demo. What if the current year is the start year of your company? So if we go back into the footer file and I'm going to change the 2014 to 2017. Now if everything goes well with our function, Instead of having 2017-2017, it should just show one instance of 2017. So I'm going to refresh the page, and there we have it, just one instance of 2017. And now we have a dynamically updating footer. So that's all there is to it. I hope you got a lot of value from this tutorial. If you haven't done so yet, hit subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Also, click the card that just popped up, register for the Brute Force Limited Webinar, where I show you three tactics that I apply to all my sites and client sites to keep brute force hackers out for good. And after that, click on one of these videos that popped up on the right hand side so you can learn even more about WordPress. And until next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.